Hey there, Mission Control. It has been a while since my last video update and we have been so tremendously busy. And uh, that's why we haven't been able to do one. It's just, we're all so busy working and that's a real blessing. So uh, I wanted to catch up with you guys, take this opportunity. One, look behind me, how beautiful it is. We're down to about eight inches of snow left on the ground. We had three feet of snow in 48 hours this year. Uh, and we had more snow before. I think in mass, we probably had five feet of snow, almost two meters uh, of snow. Uh, this year here. It's been a lot and it has taken a toll. So I'm going to start off by showing you uh, kind of some things that we got going on. First, we're going to go, we're going to go into the tent here, which amazingly actually survived, but not unscathed. That's not the big one. So solar panels are looking good. They have uh, kind of appeared to have come through unscathed so far. However, this is not a good thing. This is not a good thing at all. No, hopefully with that light, there it goes. Uh, yeah, not good. This is done. Total loss. Can't be fixed. So, really not satisfied about this at all. This is gonna be the mobile hab. If you recall, we were just getting going on it. We had the belly bay belly bay down there right and then we had a pause because of the covid and we had a pivot and look at that three feet of snow total collapse look at that damage i mean just a complete loss so that's not good but you know God has provided for us this entire journey, and he's also provided for us answers to questions. Oh, snow just came off solar panels. That was freaky. He's provided us answers to questions that we had, like I was planning on getting this thing going again and putting towers out here and testing and, and really get going on the, the build here, but uh, there's no real reason to do that anymore. So we'll have to uh, call the salvage yard and get this salvaged. I'm not even safe being next to it, so I'm gonna get out of here. We're gonna have to take the belly bay off and salvage that metal. And uh, good news is we just need another 53 foot trailer and we can start again. Bad news is unplanned work. Who likes unplanned work? I'll go this way. So let me, uh, let me show you some other stuff we're up to. It's amazing how far we've come from these old things to the new ones and I can't wait for what we're going to surprise you with here pretty soon. About three weeks we're going to have something cool to share with you guys. Slight uh, change of plans here. I need to go to North Dakota. I'm going to North Dakota State University and Grand Farms who we are donating a tower to, because uh, they're going to be growing medicinals and different types of crops and everything uh, to help support their student programs and their community. So we're on the road here, headed to the airport, about six in the morning. I'll give you guys updates as we go. Well, I made it to the airport and yay, face, face diapers. Love those face diapers. You get all day in a face diaper. It's so exciting. But I'm excited to get to North Dakota. Well, I made it to the first airport. I'm going through Denver, and it's a big airport. I used to fly through here all the time when I was in the Air Force, so it's kind of neat coming back through here. I got a one hour to overlay, and then I'll be on my way to Fargo. Close my eyes so I can't 
Well, I just made it to my hotel room and uh, I'm excited because there's supposed to be a really good burger joint around here. It's called JL Beers. Now, I, I asked the Uber driver and I asked the folks downstairs, I was like, hey, you know, is there a good burger place? And they're like, yeah, both of them said JL Beers. So I love a good hamburger and we're going to go check it out. But let me show you the view from my hotel here. Oh, and I think that's JL Beers right over there. So here we go. Da, 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 downtown Fargo. The real Martian has landed in Fargo. Well, it's about the same temperature here as it is at our house, so it's not bad, but kind of a cool little downtown area here. Gonna go get me a hamburger. All right, so it's the next day, obviously. I'm here in the office space, and right behind me are our boxes, and they made it with no problems. This is the best shipping we've ever had. So uh, FedEx Freight did their job this time. Very happy about that. This is a really cool place and uh, meeting some neat people and gonna be uh, getting this all set up today. I can't wait to share it with you guys. So the tower is gonna go right here and you're gonna be seeing it from right over on the corner here. We're downtown so all these people are gonna be walking by and everything. Pretty excited to get it all set up. I'm gonna be getting it unboxed and we're just going. Okay, so it has been a great day, and uh, I'm excited to be here in Fargo, and everybody's really nice. Y'all are really nice, by the way, here in Fargo. Really, really great folks. Um, and as you can see across the street, uh, we're in downtown, and right in front of me is the tower here. And it looks great. Super excited about this, guys. 
and it'll be pushed up against the window there. So at night, it's just gonna be lit up until the lights go off on their normal schedule, but it's a great space here. You see behind me, it's pretty, pretty awesome, huh? We've come a long way. So I'm down a floor below, I had to take the trash out. I didn't wanna leave all our trash there, right? You gotta clean up, have a good name. You make a mess, clean up the mess. And just kind of a cool shot. I wish it was dark because right up there is our tower. And if the lighting was just better, it would look so awesome, but it's so cool. <laughs> it's way cool. It's gonna be amazing in here, especially if we can get some more hair. Check this out. This is over a hundred year old building and they're renovating it for technology incubators and cool stuff. Imagine if we could like fill it with towers. Major shout out to Grand Farms and North Dakota State University for partnering with Eating Grow Systems on this. And for The Real Martian to be able to come here, The Real Martian has landed in Fargo. And I was joking with the guys earlier, it's like as close to Mars as I'll probably ever get. Uh, but uh, hopefully not, we'll see. But uh, we're really excited to be here and it's a great opportunity for us. The space is very exciting. Tower behind me there, up on the, up on the roof. There it is, right there. Look at the shininess off of my head there. Almost. Anyway, more work to be done. Here's another little view. There it is over there. Oh, it looks awesome. It looks awesome. All right, it is uh, like 8.30 at night here in Fargo. It is cold and uh, just had a great dinner. The folks here at uh, Grand Farms have been amazing hosts. Really thank you guys uh, for everything. And right across the way there, that big bright light, that's our tower. That's our tower right there. That's uh, one and a half time, two and a half time zoom there. So you can see it's just bright. Just flaring out the lens, unfortunately. But there's a wide angle. This is literally the downtown of downtown uh, Fargo. So there ain't no more downtown than this, and it's right in the middle of everything. So uh, I'm going to get back to the hotel room, and the guys in Fargo tell me that this is like springtime weather. It's like just barely above freezing. We missed the negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit, and uh, oh, there's over there, VFW. Thank you to all of our veterans. Give us our freedoms. Really appreciate your service, and uh, go around. So anyway, headed back to my hotel. Oh, and check this out. I've never seen an ice ring. <laughs> Look at that. The guy's out there. He's got his... What is he doing? I don't know what he's doing. He's learning how to skate. Anyway, things that don't happen where I'm from. So it's been great being here. Uh, we got the tower set up. It's working. Minimal issues. Uh, it went really, really well. Lots of learning. We're still in the early adopter phase, so we're getting great feedback. Uh, from these events like this and uh, we met some amazing people and have potential contacts even with global global locations so it's really exciting and just uh, a blessing I'm thankful every day for the people I get to work with for the uh, the efforts that they put in and for the blessings honestly that the good Lord uh, has given us uh, if it wasn't for him we wouldn't be here so I'm grateful I'm thankful and uh, it's pretty awesome. Tomorrow we're gonna be doing some meetings and stuff with them, startup talk and entrepreneur things. Uh, all very exciting. And then uh, back on an airplane and home and more work to do, code to write, embedded software to put in place because we got a brand new control system. The Eden control system, which I think might be bigger than even the towers. Bigger than the towers as far as what it can do. So, it's a little brisk and uh, it's a really windy here. Thanks for everything, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with us. And uh, be sure to like, subscribe, notify everybody of what we're doing here. We need your help getting the message out. We have a good message, and everyone I've spoken to has saying we got a good thing going. We still got some things to work on, but we got a good thing going. So we need your help uh, to get the word out. Take care of this room, Marshall. Out.